Hello everyone, this is Gamer, and welcome back to Grand Theft Auto 3. Let's continue with the last stuff, shall we? Okay. Do I still have a, do I have a car or no? Hmm. Just this? Alright. Hey boys, please, call the show right now. This is an SOS going out across the city. Alright, let's go over to this line. Hello, caller, you are on the air. Are you sane? <laughs> are you a sane caller? Absolutely, Lazo. Killer bees. Killer bees. Yes, killer bees. Did you know that if the current migration does continue, we will all be dead in three years? Did you want to become a bee supper? I don't. That's why we must act now. Killer bees must be stopped. I wonder why more people aren't talking about this. I mean, killer bees swarming, it sounds pretty serious. Ah, but the killer bees are... I don't need to any ID. You look trustworthy. People on trains and buses in the city who yammer on and on into their cell phones. I'm really glad to get to hear about what you're having for dinner. What we should do is herd them up and put them on an island. I am the president of a group called Citizens Raging Against the Crap? Exactly. Your organization's called Crap. What, what kind of moron are you? You, you want to round people up for you? Let's try this again. <clears throat> it's hard organizing meetings without the phone, though. We've had to resort to carrier pigeons, and they keep disappearing. What are you speaking to me on? What's it, what's that in your hand? I am not the problem. You are, and you're perpetuating the downfall of mankind. Liberty City was great before phones ruined everything. Liberty City was a church, a cow pasture, and three houses when the telephone was invented. Liar! You're the liar. Liar, liar, pants on fire. What are you, are you, are you three years old? Laszlo's a liar, Laszlo's a liar. I bet that isn't even your real name. Shut up. You shut up. Stupid. Nanny, nanny, boo boo, stick your head in doo doo. Oh, we're going to commercials. Is your job affecting your health? Do you become fatigued? Does working take time away from family and social events like watching wrestling? There's an easy solution. Sue your boss. See, the great thing about this country is you can sue anyone for pretty much anything. And you'll That's true. probably win, or at least get a settlement. At the true. Of Raken and Pons are personal he attorneys, could, he, we can show you how falling down and howling this like game predicted suing. Damage award from your employer. We also specialize in awards for injuries suffered in auto, bus, and train accidents, and can even train you to throw yourself in front of a bus and pretend to be injured. Hey, that's what you for insurance. All the law offices of Raken and Pons are and get ready to enjoy a life of luxury. All right, we're back on Chatterbox. Let's uh, go to the chatter line here. Hello, caller. You're on Chatterbox. Laszlo, I just wanted to make your viewers aware that... Okay, now, this is a radio show. We don't have viewers. We have listeners. Uh, okay. Anyway, Laszlo, I just wanted to make your viewers aware the first international puppetry festival is next month at the fairgrounds, bro. If you're interested in becoming a puppet master or a ventriloquist, you should definitely come down, dude. It's going to be totally killer. <laughs> I wasn't aware that there was much demand for puppet shows these days. And... Oh, man. Have you been living under a rock, bro? Guys with puppets get chicks. I take my monkey puppet to the park all the time. We play hacky sack together, it's rad. But anyway, dude, at the International Puppetry Festival, we'll be having workshops on finger puppets, too. Hello, Petunia the Pinky, me, Barry the Thumb. String puppets, club puppets, dude, it's gonna rock. <laughs> okay, thanks. Hope to see you there, Laszlo. Hey, by the way, can you give me that guy Fernando's number? Nah, I'm sorry. Fernando hasn't paid his bill to our ad sales department. But here's someone who has. And they paid us in stacks of old groats and gold guineas. We'll be back after this. <laughs> Do you live in the boring suburbs but dream of living in a lonely castle on a windswept moor? Do you long to trade in your sweatsuit for a hundred pound suit of armor and swap your SUV for a noble stallion? Do you eat microwave dinners? All the while wishing you were roasting a suckling pig at a pagan banquet. Is your <laughs> next ideal home improvement a moat? Well, get ready, Liberty City! This weekend and every weekend at Liberty City Park, it's the Medieval Millennium Fair. Our band of traveling minstrels, knights, and maidens oh so fair are ready to delight you with tales of the Black Death, witch burnings, and the joys of being a feudal son. Come on. Forget about air conditioning and modern medicine. We've got all the leeches, spells, and potions you need at the Medieval Millennium Fair. Learn the art of cooking with turnips. 
Yum Yum by genuine reproduction medieval artifacts including Golly. pieces, double-handed battle swords, and one-size-fits-all chainmail. And this weekend only, pick up an authentic mechanical Lady of the Lake in Excalibur. It's perfect for your garden pond or a swimming pool. And learn how to rid your condo of vermin using a penny whistle and a mysterious prancing German named Hans. The Medieval Millennium Fair, every weekend at Liberty City Park. All right, Liberty City, you are listening to Chatterbox, the show that is the number one reason for the success of the internet. All right, let's take a call. Who's on the line? Close. What about that? Close. What are you talking about? Lazlo, close. Close, Lazlo. I hate him. I just hate him. Wait, we're, all, we're all about opinions on Chatterbox, because uh, Liberty City's premiere. Cool. <clears throat> cool. As you say, a king, and therefore can exercise his royal prerogative to not wear clothes. And two, it's a cat, and therefore it doesn't have to. And three, I mean, now that I think about it, if you want to try to dress a lion, you can. But I guess, I guess what we're learning is that life can be a little unfair at times. I'm naked, Laszlo. I'm naked. I, you know, I really didn't need to know that. Saboteurs called a meeting. Don Salvatore has called a meeting. I need you to collect the limo and his boy Joey from the garage. Then get Luigi from his club. Come back here and pick me up. Then we'll all drive over to the boss's place together. Those triads, they don't know when to stop. They want a war, they got a war. Now get going. Alrighty. Let's do this. cooking yourself or or when you're working on a building we're not swingers it's not about sex it's about being one with the world all right dude groovy hug a rainbow it's time for a public service announcement from donald love hello come on how you doing Tune in. That's why we're the fastest growing cable supplier and health insurance provider in the Northeast, and why our new satellite in China is something all Americans can be proud of. Here at Love Media, we are proud of what we have done to help America and to help hard working Americans relax. For investment opportunities or information about our new interactive television service, please go to www.lovemedia.tv. Ooh, that makes me feel all warm and fuzzy. All right, let's go to line eight. Hello, caller. What's your name? Bob. Bob from Pine Creek. Hey, uh, what's up, Bob from Pine Creek? So I've been listening to your show. There's always people going on about problems in school. Gums, people showing disrespect to teachers, drugs. School's a breeding ground for crime, ain't they? I guess it seems that way. Well, I got a real simple solution. Shut them down. Shut down the schools, you shut down the problems. No more dead teachers, no more... How you doing, kid? You don't think... No, I don't. Never. Now listen to me. It makes perfect sense. Kids these days, they complain a lot, but you know what? Costs even more. I mean, shoes, books, toys, special tiny furniture, pets, that sort of crap. It's all about me. Me, 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 me. Well, not my Johnny. No, sir. Uh-uh. I'm learning him the value of good, hard work. Learning him good. If free me taught him how to clean the bathroom, that so much as one hair off the sofa was off the bed with no dinner. You know what? <clears throat> he went right. to bed hungry only 20, maybe 30 times. He learned. Now, he brings his mother lunch in bed every day so she can sleep in. 
Let me tell you, everyone should have their kids serving up food. He even cooks for the whole family. These days it's getting too big to be chipped, so now he's a paralegal breaking a pump. He's seven and he's making mad to be 23000 a year. And on weekends, he doesn't go to the mall, play soccer, read, or do any of that kind of stuff. No, no, he works in the basement of a... No fancy crap. Hell, he'd go to sleep during the day. That's another eight grand right there. Whoa. Now, I'm buying me a fast boat trailer. What do you say to that? Well, it sounds kind of like exploitation to me. Exploitation? Man, you please her kill me. Johnny's mine. He's my kid. How can I exploit something I own? Exploitation. Sound like a... Golly. Kids in Russia, they don't work. That's why everything's so messed up over there. Get the weight on the toilet. How do I get over there? And their space station was made out of milk cream. I'll tell you, we're the poor living is the American way. That is and the only thing more American is have folks work for you. That sounds a little oppressive, even despotic. Exactly, my boy. You hit the nail on the head that time. He's my kid. I'm telling you, just shut the schools down, make the kids work. That book stuff all for sisters anyway. And, and doctors and politicians, lawyers and Whatever. I, you know, I can't be bothered to argue with you, but I do feel Let's sorry not go that way. Johnny, the seven-year-old cook, chimney sweep, paralegal. How did I get to this area? Oh, me, the maestro. The new my boxy monstrosity. Mine is bigger. Would you like a giraffe? I have one delivered. Just log on to petsovernight.com and we'll send you a giraffe overnight. Petsovernight.com, delivering little bundles of love in a box directly to your door. All right, you are listening to Chatterbox, hosted by me, Laszlo, because I got kicked off the rock station. Let's go over here and talk to somebody about their life. Hello, caller, you're on the air. Hi, Laszlo. My name is Martha. I just love your show. I always listen to you when I'm getting my call interrogated. I just wanted to say something about the Internet. You know, the information superhighway and the World Wide Web. Yeah, I know all about it. <laughs> Isn't it amazing? I mean, it's incredible. I know a lot of people say it's absolutely a load of crap, but how could it be? It's remarkable, I think. We have all the people. I mean, what do you want to buy? What do you do, Leslie? I go to a shop, and the name's Laszlo. I know, Leslie. I'm a regular listener. Well, I don't. I buy a CD online, and then I rip the music into a different format, so I can listen to it while I'm jogging. It's incredible. I also like jazz, Facebook, and reality, so the internet is really good for my hobbies. I think it's amazing. I used to go out a lot, but I don't have to go out ever again. It's incredible. I don't envy those kids with their stock options and their fast cars. They earn them. The internet has saved my life. This is really going nowhere. You did good back there, kid. Real good. Come on, let's introduce you to the Don. Hey, Luigi! Oh, my girls have been missing you so long, Salvatore. You've been away too you long. You tell them once this unfortunate business is taken care of, we'll all go down to the club and celebrate, okay? It's my boy. How you doing, Pop? You got yourself a good woman yet? Hey, your mother, God bless her soul, would be turning over in her grave to see you without a wife. I know, Pop. I'm working on it. Tony! How's your mama? She's a great woman, you know. Strong. Firenze. She's good. Fine. Terrific. Terrific. Now, listen, you guys, you go inside while I talk to our new friend here. I see nothing but good things for you, my boy. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> cool. Well, we might as well do more of this. Chaperone. Me and the fellas need to talk business, so you're going to look after my girl for the evening. Hey, Maria! Move your butt. Dumb bird does this every time. And here she is, the one and only Queen of Sheba. 
What were you doing up there? Whatever it was, I bet it cost me money. Well, you don't think I hang around here for the conversation, do you? Get in the car and keep your big mouth shut. Take the limo, but bring it back in one piece, you hear me? And watch her. She can be trouble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure your new lapdog has everything covered. And isn't he big and strong? Hey, Fido, let's go visit Chico and get some party treats. He's at the rail station at the Chinatown waterfront, I think. Chatterbox, where your opinion matters, or at least we say that. Let's go over here to line four. Hello, caller, what's your name? Jeff from Rockford. Hello, Jeff, what's up? I wanted to tell you and your listeners about a once-in-a-lifetime chance to make a difference. In the rally tomorrow evening, get the talk. Starting at 7. Although we'll be painting banners and theme songs all night and all day to prepare for it. Then, when tens of thousands have gathered in the park, we're going to march on the town hall. Laszlo, the people have spoken. Ah, Mirais, my favorite lady. We're looking for some fun, a little mm, some spank. Hey, Chico. Nah, just so the usual. What's his there you go, yeah. lady. Hey, maybe you should check out the warehouse party at the East End of Atlanta Keys. Mm, thanks, Chico. See you around. Gracias. And enjoy. That's good stuff. I will not, I cannot let this pass. Let what pass? Come on, Fido, let's go and check out this party. Time to put up or shut up. No more Mr. Nightside. No more easy solutions. Problem. It's about what it means to be an American. It's about giving something back. Giving what back, Jeff? Hope, dreams, belief. Belief in what? I mean, look, Jeff, I, I admire your passion. Really, I do. But what will people be marching for? What, what's your rally about? It's about justice, Mr. Lowe. A chance to shine and make a difference. About thousands of people walking side by side as Brother March. Only one thing on their mind. A chance to make a difference. No Bring your friends. Nothing no shows you can more than a chance to walk together for justice. Bring your kids. They can paint signs and leave up a face painter and a vegan barbecue. Bring your parents. Dude, even the elderly care about tomorrow. I understand that. It sounds like a great rally, but we're not a political station, and you haven't really told us why people should do this. What is it about? Look, look, do you want to help or not? I don't know what I'm helping. You're helping them. All right, Fido, you wait here and look after the car while I go around. I don't know what it's for, do you? It's for hope. Please come, everybody. It'll be real good. All right, you fight the power, brother. Say, later on in the show, if you're into... Uh... Is there anyone I can look behind me? Oh, it's middle mouse button. All right, let's go to the All phones. Right. Hello, caller. You're on Chatterbox. Huh? <laughs> you're on Chatterbox. What's on your mind? Oh, wow. I can't believe it. <laughs> Do you have a question? Dude, I call every day, and I never get through this. Amazing. You do a great show, man. Thanks. What's uh? What, 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 what's up? Oh man, I'm serious. Really great. Four or five all units. This is narcotics rate of NXT. Exactly what have I inspired uh -oh. you about? Well, okay. Right now, I live at home. So pretty soon, like, Golly. Next week, dude. I'm moving out. I'm just, it's just time to go. Okay. Did you have anything relevant to say? Yeah, dude. That me, dude. Bogus. You be bogus. That's all. Great show, lad. We're going to talk to Reed Tucker. It's going to be a great interview. We'll be right back. A good shoe starts from the ground up. At Eris, we make high-quality footwear. In fact, you can find Eris running shoes in over 140 countries around the world. In the past, there's been some criticism about our workers. That's why I'm here at one of the Eris factories so you can meet some of them. Excuse me, sir. Do you enjoy your job here? It's fun. We get to play with knives. I see. Oh my. Is there a real oh sense my goodness. of teamwork? My friend Joey sewed his hands together. Wow. You're learning some real skills. How about the salary and benefits? Yesterday, I made a dollar. See, that's the kind of dedication we have to our employees and the quality of our shoes. Eris Running Shoes. Always running from something. Time to get for the guy that has everything? Log on to PetsOvernight.com. We've got exotic pets galore, including tigers, cobras, manatees, 
and white rhinos. All delivered overnight. PetsOvernight.com, delivering little bundles of love in a box directly to your door. Hmm. You know, I enjoyed myself for the first time in a long while. And you, you know, you treated me really good with respect and everything. Well, I better go. <laughs> I'll see you around, I hope. <laughs> Wondering if I should buy some more gun ammo. For your mind and your this digestive is a good car. Is what you put in also comes out. Especially corn. What's the story with that anyway? Laglo, I'm deadly serious now. My mentor was a 430-year-old monk who showed me the way to enlightenment. Okay. If you have a question for Reed, we'll be taking calls in a little bit. I think we all went through a ninja period. You know, I had the Chinese stars and the nunchucks. This is not a period, lad, though. This is a way of life. Thanks to a strict vegan diet, I had the power of nine men. After morning meditation and a three-bean salad, I could... There's no need to feel down. That didn't work. Mind is like a closed fist, and karate means open hand. But it might as well mean open mind. If you're like meat rat, I think you're really like my dog. Well, I'm not a masticating cow, so I really don't enjoy chewing damp hay and prancing around in leggings, oh, shouting, oh, yeah. Okay, that though, I'm warning you this. I got all your own defense, man. Triads and tribulations. We're at war. The triads have a fish factory as a front. Most of their business goes down at the fish market in Chinatown. The laundry still owes us protection. They reckon the triads are protecting them now, so I say we exact a fitting punishment. Take those boys over and whack the triad warlords. Hell, if you get a chance, pop some of their soldiers too. <laughs> I go open up my shop now and then and drink two pints of hand pressed to eat. And who wants a steak after that? Okay, next caller, you are on the call. All units, no one progress. I have the ball How can I learn to beat up 10 guys at once? Okay, first things first, my man. You need to stop the negative thinking. The best attack I found is to just run away. So that way you can still fear in your body. You can know you can see from the rafters. Like a bat. I don't want to hear about no. Two half this desk is made of two-inch thick composite wood pulp 
has a mahogany veneer finish. It has three drawers, and knowing this station, it cost $100. In his own words, Reed Tucker is about to smash it into two half desks. Take it away, Reed. Ladies and gentlemen, I already visualized the event. We're talking about short guys, killer bees, the Magna Carta, chit. Uh, well, the red light on the wall is flashing, which means that the owner of the station has an important announcement to make. Let's go live to his office. Hello, my name is Donald Love. You're listening to a Love Media Station. Oh. Enjoy. Wow, man, that was deep. You know, I really like working here. This station, it feels like my second family, <laughs> except that we have a snack machine. And I tell you, working here beats the hell out of digging sewage ditches outside Kuala Lumpur. All right, let's go to the phones. Hello, caller. You're on Chatterbox. Well, little man, I, I was listening to that English when you were talking to earlier. I mean, do these guys realize how wussy they sound? I mean, they, they have the nerve to call crackers biscuits. And they say aluminium instead of aluminum. I mean, what's up with that? They all think they sound so smart with a little funny accent. I mean... I got something for them. Speak English, you lively moron. Well, you know, I think they were speaking English before we were. Uh, the people over here were speaking Shoshone and Cherokee. Careful. Man, you, you ever watch soccer? Man, that's a boring game, man. I'll tell you what soccer is. Soccer's for little girls, man. Football, now that's an American sport. It, it teaches you good, wholesome American values, man, like, like stealing other people's land by force and, and wearing tight pants while you do it. <laughs> what are you... Basketball. Look, I'm running around the court bouncing the ball and I'm seven foot three. I'm telling you, man, I only play men's sports, like football and hopscotch. Hopscotch? That's a girl's game. Man, that ain't a girl's game, man. Not rugby hopscotch. Man, get me in a scrum and I'm dangerous. I'll take anybody down. I'm the hopscotch master. I got five Oh my hopscotch. goodness. You know what I'm saying? Hey, yeah, I mean, I, I kind of see your point, but, you know, you'd be a little cranky, too, if your empire had fallen apart over the last hundred years. And speaking of commerce, it's time for some commerce here. Let's go to commercials. We'll be back after this. Has your marriage gone stale? Has the spark gone out of your love life? Looking to add a little adventure to the monotony of monogamy? Hello, I am Fernando Martinez, the founder of Fernando. <laughs> With our three-step program, you'll rediscover romance, guaranteed. Hi, my name's Phil. I've got three kids, two cars, and a mortgage. My love life is going stale, even before my wife's car accident. Then I called you big... Wednesday afternoon, I meet Barbara at the hotel by the turnpike. See? The passion she's back. Phil's marriage is saved. 
and his kids will have a daddy to look up to. Call New Beginnings today. Cinco, 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 nueve dos, nueve dos. It will be a miracle. I guarantee it. Fernando's New Beginnings. We turn an ending into... Puppy. And now you can ship one anywhere just by logging on to PetsOvernight.com. PetsOvernight.com, delivering little bundles of love in a box directly to your door. <laughs> Oop. And who says that e-commerce isn't a brilliant idea? Damn it. Idea? All right, let's go over here. All right, speaking of brilliant, you're listening to Chatterbox with me, Laszlo. Let's go over here to the phones and see what's plaguing Liberty City. Hello, caller. You're on the air. Wow, I got through. Uh, Laszlo, I think your last few callers are a perfect example. Crap. Hidden package. Nice. One down, 99 to go. No feelings whatsoever. Exactly. A another perfect example. The other day, I'm over at the hospital to have lunch with my girlfriend, Cherie, and this maniac comes right up on my bumper, flashing his lights, and I'm like, hey, guy, the light is red. You can't just come up behind me honking and flashing your lights. Then he gets over this megaphone and says to the woman in the teal my Vatsu monstrosity, please move to the side. Can you believe it? I mean, who has a megaphone rigged into their car? People are so obnoxious these days. And rude. I mean, I call my man my kids some manners. You know, I think that's a lesson to us all. All right, hello, next caller. You're on Chatterbox. Hello, Nazlo. Is that woman to say she was a nanny? Nanny needs a nanny because he's been a very naughty boy. No, no nannies. Let's go to our next caller. All right. Colonel James T, United States Marine Corps, 2nd Battalion. Laszlo, that caller made a really valid point. These kids today have no respect for authority. And there is one thing that would... Would Blowfish. Okay, I've had enough of this shit. We're gonna finish the triads and liberty once and for all. Eight balls rigged a dust cart with a bomb. It's on a timer. So if you mess up, there'll be no evidence. Go and pick up the dust cart. Careful. Eight ball says it's real sensitive. And the slightest bump could set that thing off. Their fish factory will open its gates for a dust cart. So you can drive right in. Park up between the gas canisters and get the hell out of there. I want it to rain mackerel. We're talking real biblical here. Nothing low budget. book lately, son. The Australian-American War was the biggest war since the big one. I tell you, I didn't do two tours and take boomerang shrapnel in my head so I could come back here and have a bunch of hippies deny history. Those Aussies are ruthless. They even wired kangaroos with the... Oh, I see. Okay, I gotta be careful with this vehicle. Swear again, we're gonna have to cut you off. This is a family show. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm, I'm just a little unhappy, a bit agitated, real angry. It's my mom. She don't think I'm a real man. Can you imagine that? I mean, I do a man's job and hope it. She treats me like a little boy. All I get is your pa this and your pa that and you ain't a real man, Tony, and it's driving me freaking nuts. Well, Tony. Tony, how'd you know my name was Tony? You're tracing this call? If you are, you're gonna get real intimately acquainted with what your brains look like. My name ain't Tony, okay? Uh, okay. But my mom, she keeps going, Tony. 
I mean, sir, you know, in life we have a lot of obligations, and we just kind of have to face up to them. And right now, I'm obligated to play some commercial announcements. We'll be back right after this. We've got a new friend for everyone. He's got fur and a tail. He gets in lots of trouble, but he's a bouncy little fellow, because he's got springs for legs. Pogo the Monkey, the best new video game for the whole family. I love you, Pogo. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Oh, I forgot how to set up the car bomb. Hang on one moment, I gotta look this up. Is it? Oh. What? No. Oh no, it's give. Oh jeez. It gave me the PlayStation co two controllers. I mean, two controls. Oh god. Um. It's not showing me. What the heck? Hold on. Because I'm not doing this because I do not want to go through all that again. Is it, um... Hold on, let me see. I really can't say I had it. Okay. So it was left mouse button to activate the bomb. I did not know that. Oh well. Back. Phil's marriage is saved, and his kids will have a daddy to look up to. Call New Beginnings today. Cinco, 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 nueve dos, nueve dos. It will be a miracle. I guarantee it. Fernando's New Beginnings. We turn an ending into a new beginning. Are you bored with man's best friend? Sorry, Fido. Love your new best friend. Mommy, Jim Jim bit me. Oh, you won't kill me. Oh. Called biorhythmic subconscious gymnastics. The dormitron exercises you while you sleep. Just strap in your arms and legs, put on the dormitron headset, then wrap yourself in the special high voltage electric blanket. Turn it on to 11 and burn those pounds away while you have a relaxing night's sleep. Now that I've lost 280 pounds, my husband's all mine again. That's right, honey. No more escort services for me. Don't be fat a day longer than you have to. Remember, being fat can even ruin a romantic cruise. Call Dormatron now at 1-800-SLEEP-OFF. Cut in the grass. Leave us alone for a minute. The Colombian cartel is making spanks somewhere in Liberty, but we don't know where. And they seem to know everything we're doing before we do. We got us a rat. There's a guy named Curly Bob who works the bar at Luigi's. He's been throwing more money around than he's earning. He ain't pimping or pushing, so he must be talking. He usually gets a taxi home after work, so follow him. And if he's ratting us out, kill him. a hybrid of a peach and a Pekingese midget fight bitch for the last two years. And it is impossible. Impossible. 
impossible, I Get tell you. Okay, and speaking of impossible, Jane from Cedar Grove is on the line, and she wants to talk about how difficult it is being a parent today. Hello, Jane. Hi, Laszlo. I love the show. I'm a first-time caller. I wanted to say something about these video games. They are warping our kids' minds. My son's dog, Hugo, got hit by a truck, and he said, Mommy, Mommy, where's the reset button? Kids these days, they think life is a game. Well, it's not a game, Laszlo. It is very, very serious. I let my kids play video games. And now, he runs around the house looking for gold coins. He's teaching our children to go chase money. My little Sam is playing a video game called Pogo the Monkey. Yeah, I've heard of that. The shop teacher called me today. And Sam made a homemade banana can in shop class and was lobbing them across the street at a fast food restaurant. And it's all because of video games. Landlow, life does not have a reset button. Right, but this show does. Ah, I love that button. You know, it's never a dull moment on this show. Especially if you're in our key demographic. Love Media. What? Bringing people and the finest in entertainment together. All right, hello, next you got too close. You're on chat Really? Box. I want to talk about that bag stuff. People say it's bad. It's not bad for you at all. Why are you talking? Wait for me, right? Why are here? Hello? You have to be a pansy. What's your question? We'll do that bank, other bank, one later. Bank. Let's do, um... Bank. What about it? I mean, that's not really a question. Bank. Questions usually start with work. I scream, you scream. I started my exotic entertainment business with nothing but the sizable contents of my leather pants. A gang of no-goods has threatened to remove my starring member if I don't pay them a cut. They threatened the wrong man, amigo. They have a weakness for the ice cream. Pick up the bomb I've eaten in Hardwood, hijack the regular ice cream van on its rounds, and lure these fools to their doom with the jingly jingly. They hide in a warehouse on Atlantic Key. Pick up the briefcase in Harwood. After these important messages. Now out! I used to be concerned and nervous about the future. Sometimes I'd get scared before an important event such as childbirth or family funeral. Hey, sometimes you need a little help navigating life's trouble spots. That's when I discovered Equinox. Tommy, life was getting me down. I couldn't focus on anything. After trying Equinox, I've been employee of the month three times in a row. I used to fall unconscious for hours at a time. Now with Equinox, I never need to sleep. Equinox is new from Saibatsu Pharmaceuticals. Ask your doctor about Equinox today. Equinox may cause nausea, loss of sleep, blurred vision, leakage, kidney problems, and breathing irregularities. Now take Equinox if you're operating damage, you're driving a car, you're operating damage, you're operating damage, you're operating damage, you're operating Equinox, softening life's harsh realities. Tonight, the Head radio. event that will make history, Liberty City Survivor. This takes reality TV to a whole new level. We'll take 20 recently paroled guys. You can fail to seven feet. You just might be part of the action. I was grabbing a sandwich at the Happy Blimp, and all of a sudden these guys crashed through the window and started shooting at each other. I was so excited, I didn't even notice I'd been hit. After that, I was hooked on Liberty City Survivor. I watch it every day in the hospital. The game doesn't end until there's only one man left standing. Tune in nightly or watch the 24-hour live webcast. Liberty City Survivor. Natural selection has come home. Sponsored by Ammunition. All right, we're back on Chatterbox. Call us on the Chatter line and tell us what's on your mind. Line four, you're on Chatterbox. What's on your mind? Liberty City Cox rule! I mean, you know, we're not talking about you. What kind of egomaniac are you? You got your own show. How about letting other people talk for a change? We're all the same, giant. Oh, I'm so awful. I'm so important. Listen to me talk about my tall stuff. I think I'll put this in. Stop moving! I'm not an idiot. Run, run, run. Mr. Whoopi.
Nice. Pretty good. Oh, thank you, Nando. Yes, yes, I, I do like it here. There's one thing, though, that's just very different, rather worrying. When I was a boy in England, I had a nanny. She was very strict. Yeah, well, I mean, there's excellent child care here in America. I don't know. Well, well, I'm sure. But, but the thing is, Nando, when, when, when I was a naughty boy, I, 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 I would get spanked. Na nanny, nanny would spank me when I was naughty. And now, now Freddy needs nanny because when Freddy's naughty. He needs to get spanked. Well, there's some child psychologists who probably say that spanking can be harmful to a child's emotional development. Ab ab absolute rot, Lasso. It's lovely. Freddy needs a nanny. He needs a nanny, Lasso. Trial by fire. Some insolent triad stole my beautiful car last night, wrecked it, and left it burning. Some of my most precious donkey memorabilia was in the trunk. Real collectibles that are irreplaceable, my friend. I've hidden a throbbing weapon on the edge of Chinatown. Take it and teach these triad vandals to fear El Poro's well in down wrath. Arriba! I'm not ashamed to say it. Okay, thanks for calling. Now that we've lost 98% of our audience, let's reward the other 2% with a commercial. When we come back, we'll have a special studio guest. Special because he advertises on this radio station. Remember, it's not a conflict of interest if we own all the radio stations in town. We'll be right back after this message. In today's fast-paced world, a split second can be the difference between achieving your dreams... Hey, I just won the Nobel Peace Prize! ...and not. Oh, wonderful aspects. More Americans are realizing if you don't have the latest and greatest technological devices, you will fall behind. I didn't upgrade my personal organizer, and two days later I was diagnosed with a terminal... Oh, so that one area was the correct way. Oh, flamethrower. Kill 25 triads. Come on. 
time. Seems like bliss. I, I wasn't really up for kissing on air. I mean, why not, Laszlo? Am I not attractive? Am I not irresistible even to you? Well, no matter. Why all this talking about kissing? I mean, you brought it up. No, my friend. You say you not want to kiss me. I was talking how to say hypothetically. You make me all personal. It's a big difference. If I say, imagine if your wife was ugly, you can nod your head. But if I say, hey, Laszlo. Your wife, she looked like yesterday's dinner after I eat. You're not so happy. It's a big difference, my friend. Anyway, the marriage is impossible, Laszlo. If a man was born an angel, maybe impossible. But a man is born a man. And a man with knees. He needs a woman to tuck his babies into the bed. But for his bed, he needs something else. Something magical. A dream. Sueño. So he starts flirting with this secretary, takes her out for a drink, one thing leads to another, and before you know it, he's found all kinds of uses for the office furniture. Exactly, Laszlo. I know what you are like. I see it in your eyes. A wanderer, a dreamer, a man who has knees, but an idiot, and I can save you. And I can save your marriage. <laughs> My marriage doesn't need saving. <laughs> hey, you are the one mentioning the pretty assisting and the office furniture and the Aikarama, my friend. Listen, Laszlo, and listen very closely. Your marriage is a gift. It's a present from above. But you are a man. I think we see by now you are no angel. I can save you. For when the man, he sees his wife all fat, all early, with the dirty diapers and the dirty bangs and the scrubby brush, and who knows what else. He's not thinking of marriage back. He's thinking about, well, you thinking about your pretty assistant? We already know that. See? Uh, go on. But Laszlo, what if you act on your fantasy for your little secretary with the short skirt and the pretty eyes and uh, come here, come there, smiling? What then, my friend? What then? Um, I get a sexual harassment suit. If yeah. you are lucky, my friend. But you, more likely, your marriage is ruined, Laszlo. Your sweetheart, she hates you. Your pretty secretary, she wants you to be her man. You back it to square one, my friend. You. And a thousand men like you. For me, once it was so. But then one day, I was driving my car, and I realized, Fernando, you are blessed. You are a miracle. A thousand miracles roll into one. You save the marriage, and you save the man. You don't put the marriage first, and you don't put the man first. Maybe we call it man marriage. Then I think to myself, no, this is a bad name. It sounds really dumb. Then I think we call it Fernando's New Beginnings. Because that is what it is. A new beginning, Laszlo. So how does this work? It is a miracle, Laszlo. A miracle. A man is a good father, a loving husband, the winner of bread six and a half days a week. On the spare half day, I save his life. How? By giving him what he needs in a controlled environment. I give him passion. <laughs> what, with you? That kind of sounds like a limited market. Laszlo, you are very prejudiced. I don't like that. But no, not with me. Passion for life. Passion for love. Passion for women. Which he can take home to his wife, of course. What, so you act like a pimp? Not a pimp, little man. A savior. In a controlled environment, I reintroduce the man to the pleasure he has lost. To the miracles of the world. 
And truly, the results are remarkable. With my unique counseling, a thousand marriages have been saved, and a million more could be saved every day. <laughs> and, and do the wives know about this? In their hearts, Laszlo, they know they have been saved. Uh, okay. We're gonna open it up to the phones if you've got any questions for Fernando Martinez, exotic marriage guidance made easy. Ring us now. Hey, oh, cool, we have a caller on line one. Caller, you are on Chatterbox. Hi, Laszlo. Hey, Fernando. My name's Jerry, and I'm a first-time caller. And I just wanted to say, hey, Laszlo, you're real tough on Fernando back there. I'll tell you one thing. He's a miracle worker. He saved my marriage, and I married a bus of a woman. Now I don't feel sick every time I open my eyes. See, Laszlo? You see? I remember Jerry so well. All right, before I end my video, let me see if I can find a car. Cause I know that truck is definitely fit in the garage. So if you're not getting that, eh, this will do. Hell no. Even bigger. Now she's like a whole offensive line. Alrighty guys, I have to end my video from here and I'll see you on the next episode. Bye bye.